Hey, what's up, guys? So there's a lot of shit going on. And excuse me that I cuss. There's a lot of things going on right now in the Naruto Storm community. And I wanted to shed some light and also give a little bit clarity and a little bit more hope. Because, yes, the marketing is horrible. We get little crumbs. It's like, I'm going to say it like this. It's like each crumb we get, it's, it's not even the whole cookie. We're getting little pieces of the cookie. It's insane. It's kind of, it's kind of crazy. But then again, I kind of see it. I'm looking at it in a positive way. The Boruto manga is so successful. It's so successful. I remember this one picture that CyberConnect creators had posted. And it was a group picture. And it was basically everybody with their fist up. And everyone was holding a chapter of the Boruto series. And I remember... I remember Forever News had said something about how this might be a tease to the next Naruto Storm franchise. And then if you guys check out one of my videos that I had mentioned a long time ago, this is when this is when um, I think CyberConnect or Bandai had finally trademarked the Naruto Storm Connections name. And there we everyone was like, oh, my God, this is confirmation that this is basically Storm 5. This is the new Storm title. Because remember, it was all rumors. Um, shout out to Central Japan, by the way. He has been teasing and, you know, I'm not going to say leak. I'm going to say the word speculate. He's been speculating. All his speculations have, have been coming true. So we can say, like, this guy is, is, you know what I mean? He's legit. He did say something today in a video regarding... Um, that maybe Naruto Storm Connection should get delayed and the marketing is kind of trash. I kind of want to go against that and say, I think the game shouldn't be delayed. I think the marketing is, is trash, but it's kind of genius. And again, I'm going back to saying the word genius. The reason why is because if you think about it, the Naruto franchise is so freaking popular that anything, any little bit of news that comes out of Naruto Storm or Naruto Shinobi Strikers, there's this huge, huge spark of conversation. And I'm talking about conversations through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, under the YouTube comments. It's insane. Like, if you guys don't, it's, it's kind of insane how popular the Naruto and Boruto franchise has become that any little bit of news, again, from Storm franchise, the Storm, now I'm talking about the Storm franchise, it sparks a conversation. Everyone is aware that the Kawaki, Jigen, they already, you know, post a, a trailer for those characters, right? How excited everyone got. Everyone got, everyone got excited. It sparked the conversation. But there's other people that believe that the game is basically Storm 4 with DLCs. Okay. I respect that. I can I can see why someone would say that. But if you guys think about it, it's it's amazing that we're even getting a Naruto Storm game. And I'm only saying that the marketing is kind of genius in a way because I kind of looked at my calendar and in July 1st, there's a Bandai showcase. And obviously we all know that the Naruto Storm Connections trailer and maybe probably more info and release date is probably going to showcase that day. We're probably going to get some also DBZ Tenkaichi's news, which I'm prob I'm, I'm pretty excited for that. We're probably going to get all the, the content, new newer content that we all want to see. That new Red Susano that um, Central Japan had mentioned. It's a female Uchiha. He's, he's basically speculating that that might be it. He said it's a female um, Uchiha, I believe. And I think, again, that the marketing is kind of genius in a way because the day Bandai Showcase comes up, don't mark my words, I'm just speculating again. I think that July 1st is going to be a huge hit for Naruto Storm Connections. They're probably going to also announce a demo. Who knows? Because also I read in the flyer that there's going to be um, a booth where you can actually play the Naruto Storm Connections in July 4th, I believe. And I'll try to pull up that flyer now so you guys can read that. So if you think of the timing... It's kind of almost the right time. You know what I mean? Like, they're probably going to drop all the all the news that we need to know about the Naruto Storm Connections. Um, and then they'll probably drop a demo. Who knows? You know what I mean? But other than that, um, like the video, subscribe if you guys, I guess, want to see more videos of me speculating or talking about Naruto Storm Connections. Just please subscribe to the channel. And yeah, guys, I'm out.